okay let's look at algebra today uh, let me uh, write any mathematical expression for example 2 plus 3 is 5 and I have only numbers in this expression so I'm going to call this as numerical expression what if if I say uh, for example a sum of a number number it can be any number uh, when I add it with 7 will give me uh, 10 so this uh, number can be anything uh, like how, how will I write this as a math mathematical expression so this I can say a number can be anything which is x and I'm going to add this with 7 which will give me 10 and this x is called the variable I'm calling this variable because uh, this x can change I can call this as x y z a b anything so this can be anything mm, here this is uh, unknown so I'm going uh, to call this as variable and I'm going to add this with 7 which will give me 10 so this one is called an algebraic equation uh, algebraic expression okay so now uh, we can look at some examples uh, Okay, let's say that uh, there is a student called uh, Sneha and her mother gave her 100 rupees and asked her to buy 1 kg of sugar and the shopkeeper returned him uh, 52 rupees after buying 1 kg of sugar. So what will be the cost of 1, uh, one kilo of sugar? So she had 100 uh, rupees in total and uh, how will I do this? Uh, I will my, uh, subtract this with 100. So the shopkeeper gave a remaining of 52 rupees and what will be the uh, cost of 1 kg of sugar? And this question mark can be replaced by x. So my x is price of one kilogram of sugar and how, how much will I get? I'll get 48 rupees which is one kg of sugar and I call this as X okay so now uh, let's look at another example mm. okay uh, I have a birthday today and I have 192, 190 rupees and then I want to buy chocolate and I went to the shop and the shopkeeper gave me 95 rupees so, sorry 95 chocolates so this is my how much I had and then I got 95 chocolates and the question is uh, what is the cost of one chocolate what will I do obviously I'm going to divide 190 by 95 which is 2 right that means my, the cost of one chocolate uh, is 2 rupees okay and this cost of one chocolate which was unknown before I'm going to call this as y and this y is 2 rupees and this is how algebraic equations are used now look at uh, we'll look at some of the uh, common terms that will be used in algebraic equation so in an algebraic equation i'm going to have a constant and i'm going to have sorry uh, this is variable and i'm going to have a constant constant means a number and this is not going to change this is an algebraic equation and uh, what are the uh, terms that I have I have uh, this is one term x is going to be my first term 
and then 2 is going to be my second term so how many terms I have here let's not consider this just say uh, x plus 2 is there and I have two terms here and then I have an expression uh, 2x and I have only one term here So depending upon the number of terms, uh, the equation are given uh, different names. For example, if I have one term, this is called monomial. This is called monomial. And if I have two terms, this is called binomial. Let's say I have uh, three terms, x plus y plus 2. This is called trinomial. And all together is generally called as polynomial. This you might have heard of, but uh, the meaning of this is uh, like it has a variable and it will have a constant, and the equation is generally called as polynomial expression. Okay, now let's look look at another example. I'm going to make a square with these straws. And I'm going to use four of these straws to make a square. Okay. And similarly, if I want to make two squares, I'm going to use another four, which in total I'm going to use eight straws. And if I want to make three squares, I'm going to use 12 straws and so on correct so 4 is going to be constant always which is four is always constant and then the number of straws that i'm going to use depends upon the number of squares that i'm going to make for example if i'm going to make and then this is this this can vary right my x is going to vary and my x is number of squares if i want to make two of two of these squares that means i'm using eight straws and then if i want to make three of these squares i'm going to use 12 so i'm replacing x with number of squares that i want to make and this is also another form of algebraic equation being used.